guys, Ola AK Chalk One here, and uh, I'm going to be doing some episodes of Euro Truck Simulator 2 on the channel here. So I figured I'd give you a bit of an overview on the first episode here as to what we're dealing with. Now, Euro Truck Simulator, I built my own company in the game, so I'm, I'm not just driving around, but I've actually tried to play the business aspect of the game a little bit more as well. So I'm going to load up my game here. See, I've driven, I'm at level 10, so that's, uh, I've, I have figured the game out a bit, so I've played around with it for a while. Um, my company is called, no surprise, because I have no imagination, it's just called Chalks Trucking, I believe. Chalk Trucking Limited. Uh, if we're looking at the world map, this is my truck that I'm currently driving. Um, on the map you can see that my main garage is up, up, up here in Kiel, because that's actually where I was born. Um, you can see I've traveled a little bit around Europe, I've gone over to England and Scotland for a little while. Haven't really hit the south yet, so we're still getting there. I'm just over here in Prague right now, I believe. And um, we're going to have a few more deliveries. I'm going to do one delivery per episode or something like that, hopefully. And I don't know. Hopefully it'll be entertaining for somebody to watch. I love playing this game. I find it extremely relaxing for some reason. And um, I have a great amount of fun with it. I play it with my steering wheel and pedals. Now, some of the, my friends that play this game have pretty advanced setup for that. They have a pretty expensive steering wheel. I bought the steering wheel specifically for this game. I don't play a lot of racing games in general, so I didn't go all out. I only spent about $55. But uh, the nice little uh, Thrustmaster Ferrari GT wheel is actually not bad. And it certainly provides a better experience in Euro Truck Simulator than just using a mouse and keyboard would. So. Uh, I might do a review video on the Battlefield Podcast channel, or maybe on this channel for the wheel. We'll see. But in any case, uh, let's see what else can we look at. Uh, one of the things I really enjoy is the radio stations. Um, and you can listen to radio streams, so most of the time I actually will tune into uh, certain live streams from radio stations in the area that I'm driving in. So if I'm driving in Poland, I'll pull up a, a Polish radio stream just just to make it seem even cooler, more realistic. Um, I know I'm a nerd. So, uh, I have a little bit of money, I got 48,000 euro. Uh, if we look at the company manager and the garage manager, you'll see again, here's my Kiel garage. It's a small one, I had to upgrade it once so I could have additional trucks and drivers. I actually have hired a secondary driver. What's his name again? Luca. Uh, he is driving, he's making a little bit of money right now. He's just done a few trips so far, so let's take a quick look. Uh, I have him specializing in fragile cargo because that's where he has a little bit of experience in already. Um, in his log, he's only made a few trips, but in the last one he actually made some profit, which is good. Can I see my own log in here? No, I can't. I wasn't sure. I've been making a little bit more money, so... But, I've been quite enjoying this, and um, we'll head into our first trip here in a second. And uh, hopefully you'll enjoy it. Let me know in the comments. Thanks! Okay, so this is something a little bit different. Um, I'm trying the software called Track Face Track No IR that actually uses my webcam, only my webcam, to track which way I'm looking. And you can see as I'm looking around the cockpit, the cockpit or the cabin of my truck here in Euro Truck Simulator 2, it moves with me. So it seems a little bit strange, but it does kind of work. So I figured we would do a simple trip, short one, to see how, how it works for us. Um, so the first thing we need to do is find ourselves a freight. I'm still working towards getting my Scania, 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 Scania truck. And um, we're currently in Luxembourg. And let's see, let's just do one really short route length. Let's start with the shortest ones. Let's do this one here. I know it's not much. Maybe to Rotterdam. I haven't been to Rotterdam yet. Um, I was just having a nap here at the hotel. So this is where we wake up. And uh, I hope this won't be too... It already feels weird on my neck for some reason. It's really strange, but it's bizarre. And uh, hopefully it won't be too uh, nauseating for you to watch. So start up the engine. And um, let's just see how we go. The, the one thing is that right now for me to look out the window, I can do that, but I'm turning my head a lot. So 
I'll probably have to find a different way to do that when it gets to hooking up the trailer, but we'll see. So, I mean, it does add a bit of realism, and I'm really hoping to be able to make turns a little bit more safely by just being able to turn my head instead of having to look out the window. And uh, I think I actually need to reassign some buttons because I'll be able to free up the deep pad that I had been using. I think I might start using that for um, my signals here instead because the way that I have them set up right now, I don't, I don't really like. It doesn't feel natural. I have them on the buttons on either side of the wheel. And I think, oh, where am I going? Um, all right, well, we get to try this out right away because we're going the wrong way. Excuse me. All right. Clear on the left. That guy just went. I know I'm not supposed to just turn in the middle of the road, but these people don't pay any attention to what's going on. It's a little bit disturbing. Alright, let's head over to pick up our load here. How am I looking as far as alignment on the road goes? Not too bad. I think it could actually get used to this. Oh, we roll backwards. There's a Volvo dealership that we discovered just a little while ago. You know what? It's not so bad. The whole neck thing, I think it just feels weird at first. Now, the one thing is that if I'm looking at the other monitor, I have to use my eyes only. Otherwise, you're going to see me go like this. You're going to see me go like that to check my phone. And that's going to be a little strange. Wasn't there a car in front of us? I'm going to have to reassign some of my other external camera views and reassign some buttons on the wheel to make better use of what I have here now. Yes, sure, you're just slowing down here for no reason. Sand builders. All right, let's see. Let's see what this job entails. Uh, I don't really care. We're gonna take it regardless because we want to go to Rotterdam. Trailer is ready for us. Good, good. Looks at least like we'll be able to go pick this up pretty easily. I wonder if I could just use the mirrors without sticking my head out the window for this. Might be easier on my back. On my, on my neck. Might be able to. Okay, just go. Alright. Got ourselves a trip. We have rested. We got enough fuel. We're good to go. At some point, I really should turn some music on, but I'm still kind of struggling a little bit with the uh, volumes. I find it to be too quiet inside the cab, and not uh, and a little bit too loud outside the cab. So, and then when I turn music on, it sounds great, but I can barely hear my engine. Then. Oh, are you serious? Yeah, and. It's so I take a little while to get out of here. I think that guy's letting me go. Yes, he is. 
Thank you, sir. That is actually quite a bit, um, quite a bit more comfortable to just turn your head. See, it takes five minutes to get out of town on some of these trips. Thinking I, I don't want this to be super long videos, but I don't know if I have much of a choice. Even the short trips take a long time. It's alright, the ones we get out on the highway will speed a bit, even though I'm a little bit worried that if I move my head too much, um, there's going to be a lot of accidents. Last time when I got into Luxembourg, the very first thing I got was a speeding ticket. So, I'll try to avoid that this time. It does feel like I'm sitting on one of those air ride seats. Um, because I feel like I'm a little bit bouncy in the cockpit. Maybe that's actually not a bad little realism effect. I don't know. I have not decided yet if I like that or not. It does feel a little bit different because I've always been used to having a pretty static forward view. So you can always tell where your truck ends because the view always looks the same. But uh, now that it's a little bit more flexible, even when I'm looking straight forward, it's not always 100% the same angle. It may take a little bit of getting used to. I actually kind of like it. And um, I'll put a link in the video because this uh, face cam track no IR, it's a, first of all it's a horrible name, but it is free and it is open source um, and uh, so you can contribute to it if you should feel so inclined, but you don't need any hardware, I mean you need a webcam, but uh, you know you don't need to purchase uh, a track IR system which even though they're not as expensive as they used to be is still um, a, a bit of money out of your pocket and if, especially if you're only doing this for fun like me and you're only doing it in a couple games now I don't know how extensive the list of supported games for this is but um, I will say that for your trucker 2 your truck simulator 2 it uh, literally just worked um, there was a configuration file that somebody had already kindly made for this game and uh, you just load that in literally hit the start button and then launch your game and uh, and start moving your head which is pretty slick um, uh, yeah I mean it does take some getting used to and you can see like my head's moving a fair bit but then again I'm going pretty fast on the highway I shouldn't just be totally static because it does make it a little bit more challenging when things are moving because if you were sitting here for real um, and uh, you know you probably would move around a little bit uh, I have had a couple of strange uh, exorcist moments where my head spun around, but that was literally because I started moving around. You have to sit somewhat still. Um, if you move around a lot in your chair physically, behind your wheel or whatever you use, I wouldn't use this if I wasn't using a wheel, that's for sure, then, um, you know, the camera is quite sensitive. At least mine is. I have an HD Logitech camera. So it does pick up pretty whoa what the heck I do pretty much every movement that I make it does translate over so if I start you know moving around a bunch even moving closer to the camera further away or just you know shrugging my shoulders and stuff like that it does respond and things do change so it takes maybe a little bit of getting used to just making sure that you don't do that so much This trip is longer than I thought. It's going to be a four-hour trip. All right. At least it's daytime. It's nice weather. Hasn't rained for me since I started this game. Um, spent a fair amount of time in England without a single drop of rain. I was very disappointed. But uh, enjoying this a lot. So again, to recap, currently my goal is I have uh, two trucks. 
So I have one other employee that drives a truck out of my headquarters garage in Kiel. And uh, my goal at the moment is I want to buy a Scania truck. Um, which would then allow me to pass this Volvo here on to a second driver that, I, that I'm looking to hire. So, uh, and I figure in order to do that, I want to, now that I'm over level 10, I should be able to buy the second tier truck, I think. Um, so I want to save up at least 150,000 euro so that I can buy myself a decent truck for myself and pass this on to the new hire that I plan on getting. Uh, so to do that, we're going to have to do a few more jobs before we can, before we reach that goal. We're close. We're like 98,000 or something like that right now. This job is not going to help a whole lot. Uh, ooh, GPS. Oh, I hate these. I hate these turnoffs. These are weird. I'm going to fuck you up. Sorry. 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 Oh, good. I didn't complain for that. Totally should have. Because <laughs> uh, that was definitely my fault. Definitely my fault. Uh, it doesn't look like we sustained any damage there either, so I guess we gotta get lucky every once in a while. I only hit him with a trailer, I guess it wouldn't really impact my truck. I don't know if there's damage to the load. Oh, I seem to be going too fast around this. You start getting a little bit too comfortable with having this... this head movement thing in here. I don't know. It does add a whole other level of, um... realistic feeling to the fact that it does feel like you know, if you've ever ridden in an actual truck of this size, you'll know that even small bumps on the road make you bounce up and down a fair bit in the cabin. Yeah, you have comfortable seats that uh, uh, absorb a lot of the shocks, but you do move. And um, I almost think that the sort of hypersensitivity of the track IR software, or no track IR, the face cam track IR, whatever the hell it's called, software, um, imitates that uh, bounciness a little bit like this. That could have been caused by a bump in the road. There wasn't one, but it adds a little bit more... Uh, it, it, it makes it feel more like I'm actually inside the cab. Now I'm touching my face and... Oh, that's bad. So, uh, don't scratch your nose. Or weird shit like that happens, and it's really freaky. Um, the one little hint that I discovered with this tracking software is that you want to assign yourself a nice shortcut key to center the camera. Because, you know, you may shift to get more comfortable in your chair, or who knows what may cause you to move a little bit from the original position, and you want to basically reset the software to now center on you in that new position. Now, right now, I have it assigned to the keyboard, which is actually not a good idea, because in order for me to hit that key, I need to shift my position. So I would have to lean forward, center the camera, and then lean back, and everything's screwed up again. So at some point, I need to figure out here if I can somehow map this to my wheel buttons. Um, because if I could just, with a touch of a thumb, uh, recenter the tracking software, I think that would be, that would be great, because that way... Um, you know, every once in a while I could just tap that to sort of keep things in line and keep things from uh, losing calibration, I guess. Because that, that may happen. I don't know. I mean, so far, so good. But I am a little freaked out by the fact that if I should move my head right now, um, I will actually get in trouble. Which, you know... Uh, <laughs> I suppose you shouldn't really be moving, you're taking your eyes off the road when you're driving in real life, but this isn't real life, and it's a little bit, almost a little bit less relaxing, perhaps? Or maybe it's just a matter of getting used to it. I seem to be doing a so-so at the moment. With that, I think I'm doing okay. Uh, these roads, though, at the moment are very nice and wide. They're nothing like the roads in southwest England that I was driving in a little while ago that were single lane traffic and very windy and still uh, 90 kilometer an hour plus. Uh, that was very frightening and I almost rolled the truck several times because I was going too fast but it is a little bit more relaxing to drive on these roads because at the very least I know that if I make a mistake I have a buffer on either side before I hit a median or a railing. I'm going way too fast again, though. Well, actually, no, I think this people going 110. See, we can look over to see 
That truck. Oh, that's freaky. <laughs> I scared myself a little there. Slow down a bit. I've turned into a bit of a chicken when I'm driving in 12th gear because things happen rather rapidly at that speed. So, I tend to just cruise around in 11th. How much further do we have to go? 100 kilometers, give or take. Beautiful sunshine driving through the Netherlands. The uh, scenery in this game certainly uh, is quite impressive. I mean, it. I don't know if it's that impressive to be honest, but it looks very, very nice. And uh, I was showing this game to a friend of mine the other weekend, and I was praying for rain because I wanted to show him how cool it looks to have the windshield wipers on when it's raining out. But it didn't happen. Hasn't happened since then. Don't know what it is. Maybe I need to go further north, to northern Europe, northern Germany perhaps. It's a little bit more rainy there, even though everybody talks of rain in, in uh, England all the time. And didn't have any when I was there. Oh. Ooh, I'm leaning. So yeah, how did I end up in 12th again? Lots of windmills, not the traditional kind, but rather these wind farm things here in the Netherlands, which I suppose, including the sunflowers there, is somewhat representative of what that country's like, flat and windy. I think they have done a pretty good job in the development of this game. Um, obviously, they can't go into a lot of details, but they've tried to give each country a bit of a feel and region a bit of the feel that's uh, realistic to it, I guess. Um, and it seems like every time you enter a city, uh, you will see one or two landmarks that are representative of that city, which is also nice. I haven't explored that much. I have explored maybe a quarter of the map so far. Uh, my mission earlier was to get further south. I wanted to get into Italy. Uh, but I don't like skipping around. So if I'm in a city, I want to take a load from there and then go over to, you know, where I want to go, but I don't want to drive there without a trailer, and I don't want to uh, teleport myself there. Uh, I don't want to do it the right way. So our, you know, we're, we're not going, we're not going south now, we're actually heading north, but haven't been to Rotterdam before. I, I don't think, anyways, I don't recall. Ooh, I've definitely never driven over this bridge. This looks pretty cool. I'm gonna take a little bit of a chance here. I'm gonna turn the cruise control on, and I'm gonna have a little look out the window. Oh, look at that ship. Cranes. That's pretty cool. Now, that is one thing that this uh, tracking software is definitely good for. And the movements are actually smoother than I had anticipated. It's, it's, uh, prior to this I had the movements assigned to a D-pad on my wheel, but that was quite a bit more uh, jerky and not nearly as uh, smooth as what we just saw there, so... Alright, looks like we're getting into Rotterdam here, pretty close. Almost there. Now, parking this trailer may be interesting with this. Um, well, maybe interesting for my neck, because the the one thing... I oh, didn't need to do that, I guess. Oh yes, here we get to see the complete ineptitude of merging of AI drivers in this game. They literally come to a standstill. And you have no idea how many times I have almost, and a couple times have actually, rear-ended. 12 cars that were basically stopped on the side of the highway um, because they had to merge. So that's not very smart. Really? We're taking this tiny little... Alright. City center. Centum. Fifty, which I'm sure we're gonna break soon. Stop it, blinker! Stop blinking. Majestic truck dealer discovered. Cool. It looks like we're gonna be turning left here. Just 
stretch the old neck a little bit, have a look around the cabin. I wish you had legs, actually, in this game, because, see, there's nothing there. I would, they should have... I don't know if they should have added the hands on the wheel. Maybe would have been an interesting little addition to the game. I can't really complain, though. I've had a lot of fun with this so far. And the amount of... Of realism that they have brought into this game that it, at least if you choose to do that I know you know you don't have to drive by the rules it will cost you some money and the damage model is still I think fairly forgiving but if you try to do it by the rules and you try to take care of the load and you try not to wreck things you try not to hit things you try not to get speeding tickets then um, you can do that and it can be I think Quite enjoyable. So let's see what we do here with this. I don't want to skip park in the trailer. I haven't done that yet. Um, I, for some reason, I, I feel it uh, fulfilling to actually park this thing myself. So, how close are we? Alright, we're not too, too bad. This is, uh, if you saw what I'm doing to my neck right now, you wouldn't, uh, it's not, it's not that much fun. I really can't see, so I'm right, okay. Uh, so we want to go a little bit further that way. To somehow, I need to uh, hard code the that outside angle so that I don't have to strain my neck like I just did there. But we got there. We didn't get any uh, demerits for squishing a car, which is good. And all in all, the trip didn't take that long. So um, I hope you enjoyed that. Let me know if the uh, tracking thing was a little bit too bumpy for you or not. Um, and we'll continue next time. We'll see if we can make our way further south or explore some other cities and get some more money.